it is um, a female, 60 years old, uh, with uh, no comorbidity, and uh, uh, she she has had a few weeks ago uh, uh, abdominal pain, and the CT uh, scan perform for the diagnostic of this abdominal pain show a small uh, lesion in the head of the pancreas uh, between uh, 8 to 10 millimeters. Uh, and the, the goal of the, of the US is uh, to try to uh, uh, characterize this, uh, uh, this uh, small uh, uh, lesion. Under uh, endoscopy vision, it's, oh no, it's okay. Now we are into the, the esophagus and we go uh, quickly in the duodenum and I, I try not to put too much uh, hair into the, into the, the stomach. Now we are into the, the duodenum. Now I inflate my, my balloon. And uh, here you have the aorta, the inferior vena cava. And this is the uh, very important landmark to start the, the, the examination. And this is uh, the, a part of the right, uh, the right kidney. Huh? OK. Now I remove my scope to try to find the, the to find the the, uh, the head of the pancreas. Okay, here, here we have the the uh, the head of the pancreas just here, and we have the we have the bile duct. This is the this is the bile duct. It's not uh, not dilated. And uh, I will try to find the, the the lesion. Here we have the lesion. Here this is the lesion. I will try to to put the lesion in the middle of the image to have a better. Uh, okay, this is uh, not so bad. I increase the size of the the image here this is a small uh, a very small lesion you see the size of the lesion is eight millimeters okay ah. sorry Okay. Here we have the, the portal vein. Try to, to give you a better image. No, this is not better. Maybe like this. Yes, this is better. Okay. Here you have the portal vein. You see that there is no contact with the portal vein. Okay. And now I will use the, the elastography to uh, characterize this lesion and elastography is a, it's a technique of uh, elasticity to try to define uh, if the lesion is uh, is hard or not and here you see that this lesion here is uh, quite blue a little bit hard than the uh, the pancreatic uh, than the pancreatic tissue okay now I think the best examination to try to characterize uh, uh, this, uh, this lesion is uh, the use of Sonoview uh, to know if uh, the, the lesion has an hypervascularization or not. Uh, you know that uh, hypervascularization is mainly associated with a neuroendocrine tumor and uh, the hypo is uh, associated for an, an adenocarcinoma. <coughs> And the negative predictive, the positive predictive value of the non enhancement sign is very high. It's uh, uh, around 96 percent. Uh, okay, now we we will perform the the, the sono view. Okay, okay. just a moment. Ah, can inject it? Okay, go go go. And here you see that there is an enhancement of the lesion. Here you see that the lesion disappears 
completely and uh, this uh, this uh, sign is uh, in favor of uh, of uh, the neuroendocrine uh, the neuroendocrine tumor and you have the the second sign is uh, the washout you have a quick washout and you will see that the the bubble will disappear uh, quickly and here the 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 the, the, the lesion will uh, reappear uh, if we wait wait after one minute and uh, there is a washout in the of the, of the lesion here here you see now the the lesion become again uh, hypo yeah uh, you see the, the washout okay Okay, this is probably a, a neuroendocrine, a neuroendocrine tumor, and uh, now we will move for the for the biopsy. But in this case, you see my scope is a little bit uh, probably uh, not straight, and uh, I will uh, I will try to uh, to see the the lesion through the through the stomach if it's possible to have a straight position to avoid. Uh, uh, to avoid uh, to damage the the working channel of uh, of my scope, but if I don't see the lesion, this is the pancreas. If I don't see the lesion uh, through the stomach, and you see that I don't see the lesion through the stomach, I will put the needle first into the into the stomach with my scope in a straight position. Okay, I will use the, the Echo 3 22 gauge needle. And after I will pass, I will repass again with the needle in place into the, into the duodenum. And using this technique, you avoid the, the risk of, uh, of perforation of, uh, to damage the, uh, the, working, uh, the working channel of the, of the scope. We have the lesion here now. I block the wheel of my of my scope. I adjust the length of my needle of the sh of the catheter of the needle. I remove a little bit the stylet. Now I test the needle here and. Uh, I go slowly inside the lesion with the needle. You see that the, the tip of the needle now is uh, in the in the lesion here, not in the. Um, I prefer to go in the center, like this. Okay. Now now we are. I push the the stylet to clean the needle, and now. Please remove remove the stylet. I will apply the, the suction and I will perform the, the biopsy. Okay. Okay. And uh, I perform a back and forth movement. Not too much because you see that we have normal pancreatic tissue around the lesion. And I just move inside the... The, the lesion not I don't want to cross too much the the pancreatic tissue and I think uh, here you see very well the lesion okay I think uh, it's probably enough Okay, and here you see that very well the needle inside this uh, small lesion. Okay, I think uh, it's finished. We need only uh, a good uh, cytology for this small lesion. Okay, now I, I remove the I remove the scope.
and we will see the results. I, I, okay, I think we have a nice, uh, a nice bear results with a micro core. And I think this will be enough for the diagnostic of this lesion. We have uh, enough tissue here to, uh, to conclude uh, for this case.